Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. A lot of you have been coming to me saying that you're getting banned on Facebook Marketplace and that is um, something typical for a beginner if they don't take the right precautions. So today I'm going to be talking about exactly how um, to get unbanned from the platform so you can keep posting ads and therefore make some more money. So with that said, let's get into today's video. So really there's only one way you can get around getting Facebook banned and I had this in the beginning. Um, it was probably about the third or fourth ad that I had put up and I put them all up in the same week. Um, this is obviously why I got banned. I was putting up wanted ads for looking to buy iPhones because um, I do iPhone reselling. But um, I got banned because that is prohibited on Facebook Marketplace but there is ways to get around that. And the only way I was able to get unblocked, um, as you guys know, when you get blocked you should click on the Facebook Marketplace app and there's just nothing there. And all you're to see is report a problem and so go ahead click on report a problem and it's going to ask you like for an explanation um, of like why there's a problem so I simply simply just tried to sympathize with them and I didn't really mention that I was um, gonna stop posting ads or anything like that I really all I said was sorry for the inconvenience I just wanted to reach out and let you know that my Facebook marketplace app isn't working um, if you can help resolve this problem that would help greatly and that's pretty much it all I did was message that message them showing a little bit of sympathy um, and again I don't mention that I was doing anything wrong just assume um, you want to make it look like they had accidentally banned you they don't I don't think they have anything in their system where they really can see like somebody wrote a note like posting wanted ads no it's usually just like through algorithm stuff like that that they can ban you um, and so sometimes like there's been problems in with Facebook in the past where they randomly block people on the marketplace for no reason and they have to take care of that so simply all you do is show a th little sympathy message use what I said or something along those lines and you should be okay but with that said I've never been banned again because of some precautions that I've actually taken um, like from here on out. So now I'm going to be talking about three different things that will help you guys um, not get banned from Facebook Marketplace. And the first one is using emojis in your title, if, especially if you're posting, posting wanted ads. That is the main reason I've seen actually people get banned is because they're posting wanted ads, not like a physical product. So I, one thing I always recommend is using emojis in your title. Like for me, I do iPhone reselling. So for me, I'm never going to put cash for iPhones. I'll put three money bags or like three like money flying symbols, whatever they are, like through emojis put emojis in your title you want to mix up the algorithm because a lot of the time you're not gonna get banned from somebody at Facebook being like oh take them off and they're gonna click delete they're gonna simply sit back and watch people get deleted because they're falling for an algorithm and it's always changing but that I've never get gotten banned from that I um, mean I'll obviously let you guys know if something else changes because I use that app consistently so if it'll if it's gonna happen it'll probably happen to me first because I am a regular user of Facebook marketplace for putting up ads but um, again just use emojis this will avoid any like algorithm detecting like that you're not selling a physical product and it's just something Facebook hasn't really regulated yet. The second tip um, that I have and I've seen a lot of you do this and a reason why a lot of you have been getting banned is you're putting ads with text on them. As you know on Facebook Marketplace um, you, you obviously have a physical product and even if you're selling a physical product but has text on it like with your phone number I will always see those getting shut down within like almost seconds or minutes simply because it is prohibited on Facebook. They don't want you going outside the platform so when they see text on a picture they just assume you're trying to get outside of the platform um, to like actually buy or sell something so obviously that like we're not trying to do that um, we like to keep them in Facebook marketplace sometimes we'll give we have to give a number or their people will look for a number to contact you but I always stay within the platform we're not trying to like scam them in that way um, we're just using Facebook in a little bit different way and I don't think that should be a problem but we have to work around to be able to do that so never put like text in your picture whether it's just like cash for iPhones or whatever you're posting in terms of ads on Facebook or your phone number nothing like that like for me I'll just put like a picture with um, like some cash and some phones and if you guys don't have any of those pictures I have about 15 plus pictures that I actually have um, and I just released a five phone flipping uh, starting packs so if you want that hit that first link down below um, and it'll basically just give you 15 plus pictures and a bill of sale and you'll get a 30 minute consulting call with me um, And we can discuss topics like this, but again just post as simple pictures as possible This will help you avoid getting banned 
Um, and another small tip that goes with that, I guess I can make this four point video, but post not too frequently. I typically post one to two like actual ads in a week. Maybe like that's max. Sometimes I'll do one. Some weeks I don't even mess with Facebook Marketplace because I don't want them to start like following me. There's other platforms out there. Use Craigslist as much as you want. They don't really care. It's hard to get banned on there. Um, like if you're doing like what we're doing and that's iPhone reselling. So um, use those platforms for a couple weeks. Sometimes take a couple weeks off or if you want to post um, because we do get a lot of traction on there. I bet you guys a lot of, I bet a lot of you have seen you get hundreds of people that will see your ad and therefore like probably about a hundred people will message you for a phone and that's minimum I've gotten before so um, and then the first, fourth point is rank your ad and that's something I haven't really talked about before but as you guys know one thing that I always do to rank up my ads on Facebook marketplace is I'll get a friend or my girlfriend or like a family member to go I'll sh like send them a screenshot of what my ad is they'll go to my location and look for that ad and they'll just message me something they'll just say like hey and this will automatically rank up your ad because there's so many things that are posted on Facebook marketplace every single day you, there's a there has to be a way to rank them up and that is how it is and once it starts to rank it's harder for like Facebook to actually detect that. Facebook is actually looking for ads um, that are like at the bottom and they're probably, they assume that they're at the bottom for a reason, people aren't interested in them. So they're trying to regulate them. They're looking at that pool rather than the ranked pool. So again, um, go ahead and like have people message you. One, it'll rank your ad higher and two, it'll be harder for people to actually track you from Facebook to get your account banned. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think this is a pretty useful video. Um, like very like knowledgeable things, little things you can like actually apply to your business model. So. Um, and again, if you want that phone flipping starter pack, if you are interested about phone flipping, you get a 30 minute consulting call with me, um, like one-on-one -on -one attention, you can ask me anything you want. Um, you get 15 plus pictures of actually ad pictures that I have found effective, I've AB tested them. So all the pictures I'm giving you, you guys, will work, I can guarantee it. Um, and then a bill of sale, which obviously protect you financially and legally from getting scammed in this business. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Hit that little subscription button down below. I'd really appreciate the support. And with that said, have a great Thursday and I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.